Right. I'm trying to do this um, video for you in terms of worked example for KC calculations. I'm using my phone and let's see how it goes. So a mixture was prepared using two moles of A and one mole, 1.5 mole of B. At a given temperature, the mixture was left to reach equilibrium according to the equation 2A plus B and that forms 3C plus D. The equilibrium mixture contained 0.74 moles of B. So at equilibrium, we have 0.74 moles of B. We are starting with 2 moles of A and 1.5 mole of B. I'm going to pause there just for you to get the question and then move on. So now let's go through the question. So I'm going to rub all of this off now and I'm going to put this into a uh, table to see what's the easiest way to tackle a question on KC. So let's start with a balanced equation that is given to us. So the balanced equation was 2a plus b forms 3c plus d. So the way I'm going to do my table is start moles. So moles at start. Uh, moles reacted. So second row and then equilibrium moles. Okay, hope this video works. You can see my video making skills are brilliant. I'm using my Samsung phone and I'm just going to see how it works. So we've got a column for A, a column for B, a column for C and a column for D. What did I start with? We have two moles of A to start with and we have 1.5 moles of B, nothing C, nothing of D. That's what we're starting with. Now the question says at equilibrium 0.74 moles of B is formed. So I'm going to go to the just let's look at the equilibrium moles. At equilibrium, 0.74 moles of B remain. So the equilibrium mixture contains 0.74 moles of B. Right, that's all the information now. All I've done is I've just taken the information from the question and I've put that into a table. So what's reacted then? So, if 1.5 moles of B we started with, then the moles of B reacting will be 1.5 minus 0.74, which is 0.76. So, let's pause there and make a note of that. Right. If 0.76 of B has reacted, then looking at your molar ratio, 2 of A, 1 of B, then the amount of A reacted is 0.76 times 2, which is 1.52. Now, 0.76 of B forms 3 moles of C. So for C, 3 times 0.76 which equals 2.28 and 1 of D reacts uh, uh, B forms 1 D 0 0.76 okay so all I've done is the amount of B rea uh, f uh, remaining at equilibrium is 0.74 so the difference between 1.5 moles of B at the start 
and the moles of uh, B remaining is 0 0.76. So this middle column is really important in order to understand the molar ratios of the equation. So 2 of A, 1 of B, 3 of C, 1 of D from my balanced equation. That means if 0.76 of B reacted, 1.52 of A, 0.76 times 2. 3C is formed, 2.28, not 0.76. Here's an important rule now. Whatever's on the right hand side, the products, that's going to increase. Whatever's on the left hand side, that's going to decrease. So the amount of A remaining at equilibrium is 2 minus 1.58 which is 0.48. So what I'm going to put here is I'm just going to put a minus sign there. Minus sign there. And a plus a sign there. And a plus sign there. I'm going to pause there now just for you to understand how I worked out equilibrium moles. So just pause there for you to um, understand, uh, to take that down. Right. Let's now say that the volume, total volume of the solution or the total volume of the mixture is a thousand cubic centimeters. So the total volume, now I'm not going to put it here, I'll put it on the top here. So the total volume equals a thousand cubic centimeters, which is one dm cubed. So now I'm going to work out equilibrium concentration, square brackets, N over V. So I'm going to divide 0.48 by 1, 0.74 by 1, 2.28 by 1, 0.76 by 1. That is my equilibrium concentration. I'm going to write my KC expression. KC equals concentration of C cubed times D over concentration of A squared times B. Substitute. 2.28 cubed times 0.76 divided by 0.48 squared times by 0.74. My calculator, which I have misplaced somewhere, Right, let's do the calculation. 2.28 cubed times by 0.76 divided by 0.48 squared times 0.74 and I have an answer of 52.8. 52 units uh, I have on to total I've got cubed and a uh, uh, power of four term on the top and power of three on the top. So if I write it like this, and please I do apologize if uh, this is uh, mathematically a bit difficult. So on the top I have uh, x to the four, where x is mole per dm cubed. So my units are mole to dm cubed and there's my answer. Uh, let's hope this makes a sense. I'm just going to pause the um, video there or I'm just going to leave that for you to take it down and then that's it for that video. Uh, let me know uh, what you think uh, of, of the video and if it made sense to you. Thank you. I'm going to post this on Firefly.